listen, I know how I'm looking right now and I'm very aware of it, so can we just move past that? <laughs> so as you can see, I've bleached my hair and it's peroxide yellow, which is not the best look. I have got a pink stripe here because I guess, guess I was feeling like Avril Lavigne for a little second, you know? So, um, my hair was brown. And I bleached it because I wanted to be blonde again. But because it's yellow, I just couldn't quite decide how I wanted to tone it because I usually use Bleach London Silver Shampoo. I mean, to be fair, it probably would help out now that I've let my hair rest for a day or two, but it's just not gonna quite cut it for now. So my plan is, I'm gonna be trying the L'Oreal Palace Colorista Silver Grey Hair Dye. I've got two boxes to cover my hair, by the way. So basically my sister used this and it went so nice. Like her hair isn't even this light either. Like her hair's like a normal, like bleachy, highlighty blonde. And her hair covered so well. It looked like totally, like there was no patches or anything. And the good thing is, is that it faded out really well into a normal blonde and it didn't leave like a tinge, which I've had before with a grey hair dye. So I'm hoping that this will sort my mess out. Either one of these expected colours, I don't actually mind. I don't know, I feel like my hair's kind of a mixture of all three of those blonde shades right now, to be honest. Yeah, so I thought I would take you along with me and see how this takes on my hair. What more can I say? Let's just get into it. So I've got my manky old hair dyeing top on, which is actually my boyfriend's <laughs> super old thrasher top. So um, I apologise for that, sorry. Thrasher, more like trasher. Okay, get this down. See what see what we're dealing with. Ow, my hair is bruised. So this is the <laughs> oh, I look like something. What's his name? Garth from Wayne's World. Oh god. So this is what we're dealing with. As you can see, it is pretty much light enough to like put hair dye on. I think the darker bit's all like underneath my hair. I never have my hair up anyway, so don't matter. I do have like darker bits here in my fringe, but I'm not too worried because if this hair dye is gonna die really quick, I'm gonna fade really quick. Then in a couple of weeks, I'll go in and like maybe just do a little bleach bath on these bits. So I'm not too worried about that. It's not quite cold enough, but it will do. Onto the hair dye. Let's open it up and see what we got. I feel like the fact that I'm really pale and have no tan on does not help the situation right now. <laughs> so this is what the stuff looks like inside. It obviously all goes into this one bottle. I've got some gloves. Let's see what it actually says of what to do. So it needs to be left to develop for 30 minutes. That's all I care about really. I'll just stick it on and leave it for 30 minutes. Simple as that. I'm such a dickhead. When I was bleaching my hair, I forgot to take my Tiffany's necklace off and the chain's gone like really dull and I'm like really sad, but at least the charm wasn't touched. Oh, I just hope I've got enough hair dye. My hair's really dry, but um, I've ordered some Olaplex, which should help to do some bonding with my hair. Okay, let's mix it all up. Okay, so it's literally, this one goes into this one and that's it. Holy... Why did I do that? Because that actually, I'm pretty sure my nose hairs are gone. I'm just gonna pour it in. I'm gonna open my window because I think that's gonna stink. I did brush my hair out before I put it in a bun, so it should be all right. Well, it's really strong, like the smell, it burnt my eye there. It's really runny as well. I honestly feel like I'm gonna have an easier time if I put it in a bowl and put it on with a brush. At least I'm not working with bleach so I can relax a little bit more whilst I'm doing this. Ooh, you can see it's changing colour already. I think you need to be careful with what grey hair dyes you get because I was reading reviews on Superdrug and basically a lot of people said that their grey grey hair dyes were making their hair go like purpley, which obviously does wash out, but that's literally just what purple shampoo does anyway. And this went so well for my sister, I only wanted specifically this hair dye, I wouldn't try any other one. Okay, so the dye is all on my head. It feels all right on my head, but on my actual like skin, like on my neck and my ears and my arms, it's really itchy. I don't know where, but my actual head and scalp feels fine, luckily. On the like dark yellow bits of my hair, it's like covered evenly as far as I can see. So fingers crossed, it all goes evenly and you can't see those patches. So I think it might be all right. By the way, that is the most messiest hair dye I've ever used. It is so watery and I thought I was being careful. All on my freaking dresser and it's on my wall. I mean, luckily my bedroom walls need to be painted, but I 
freaking... I literally painted these skirting boards the other day and I've got hair dye on them. How unfortunate. So yeah, I've just got to wait 30 minutes and I will be back with, I guess... I might show you my hair when it's wet. Yeah, I'll show you my hair when it's wet and then I'll show you like a finished, dried and styled thing. A few moments later. I've just washed it off so it's time for the reveal. It was really scary washing it off. Like I shampooed my hair twice because it was so damn dark. It's not daylight outside anymore so hopefully I'll be able to tell the colour. I'm actually a bit scared because it's not stuck to the roots. Knowing my luck it won't but let's just... Oh, okay. Um... I think you can see a bit better here. I feel like the darker patches pick up more on the camera. Like this bit's perfect. You can see that band, but when my hair's dry, it just won't be as dark, obviously. Wet hair's always so much darker. The conditioner smells so nice as well. Okay, that's not as bad. I feel like when it's actually in my parted, it doesn't show so much of that darker band, but I'm just gonna come back once it's dry and I've got my makeup on because I look like a filthy damn dog right now so i will see you in a second so this is the finished hair i really like it i think it went really well every time i look in the mirror i keep thinking i'm wearing a wig because it's just like i got so used to having brown hair for a few months and now to have this it just it doesn't feel real this isn't one of those bullshit videos where a girl has hair and then suddenly it's this perfect gray like i did bleach the crap out of my hair there's no like lies behind this video you just have to make sure your hair is super light I mean, my sister's hair wasn't massively light before she dyed it this colour before and it went so well so I think as long as you've got like nice light blonde hair then you can like make this work but obviously mine's like totally all over because I bleached the whole damn thing. Yeah, I don't really think I've got much else to say so thank you very much for watching my video. If you did enjoy watching then don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you do have any questions about this then just comment down below. I'm always checking in my comments so you should get a reply quite fast thank you for watching bye